Hey guys, today um, is a bit of a weird video. I'm showing my face, which I normally don't do. I've done it before. A video of me doing backflips and front flips on a trampoline, which was like a long time ago. That was the last time I showed my face. But that's not really the point. The point is, today I'm going to be reading the Bible because I'm Christian and I don't really show it. But I think I should change that. Also, if you hear any background noise, that's just my little brother being annoying. So yeah, I'm going to start from Genesis. And I'm going to have 18 minutes, 20 minutes really to read. Um, so yeah, so if you have a bit of time for God, and stay on the video. If this doesn't really bother you, you can click off the video. Anyways, um, let's start. The history of creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. So evening and the morning were the first day. Then uh, God um, then God said, let there be firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Uh, uh, yeah. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were uh, under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. If you don't really understand um, firmament, I don't really know what it means. I'll be right back. I'll go. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so the word firmament will be here. I'll edit that. So we got to, and it was so after that. And God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth bring forth grass, <clears throat> the, herb, uh, the herb that yields seed and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so, and the earth brought forth grass, the herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. Did you know? Uh, what does create mean? The word create means to make something new. God did that, did just that when he created the, the, the universe. Genesis tells us that God created everything. Read this chapter and you will find many things that God created. Then God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years and let them be for light and firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to, uh, to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Okay. Um. Then God said, let the waters abound with abundance of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves which, um, with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good and God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing, uh, and beast of the earth, um, each according to its kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle, cattling to its kind and everything 
that creeps on the earth according to its kind, a lot of according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dom dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all. The earth and um, over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. So in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over living things that move on the earth. And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seeds, which is on the face of, the, uh, of uh, all the earth. And every tree whose fruit yields seed to you it shall be for food also to every beast of the earth to every bird of the air and everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life i have given every green herb for food and it was so then god saw everything that he made and indeed it was very good so the evening and the morning were the sixth day Thus the heavens and the earth and all the host of them were finished. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which, uh, which he had done. God ended his work, which he had done. He rested on the seventh day from all his work, um, which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and uh, sanctified it. By the way, guys, in Bible terms, the seventh day is the Sabbath. So let me tell you. So it starts sunday then monday then tuesday then wednesday then thursday then friday then saturday saturday which it uh, means sabbath well we call, we christians call it the holy sabbath did i read this well then god blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it he rested from all his work which god had created and he, and made this is the history of the heavens and the earth when uh, they were created in the day that the lord god made the earth and the heavens before any plant of the field uh, was in the earth and before any herb of field w had grown for the lord god had not caused it to rain on the earth and there was no man to till uh, the ground but a mist went up from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living being. Life in God's garden. The Lord God planted a garden eastward, eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that it is pleasant to the sight and uh, good for food. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Also, you're special. Read Genesis. Uh, uh, you're special. Uh, sorry, I had to redo that. If you have a Bible, read Genesis one twenty six to 27. God made you in his own image. You are not like other creatures God made. Humans are the only creatures that God created in his own image or likeness. That doesn't mean that you look like God or that you're equal to God, but it does mean that you are his very special creation. Look at the pictures of your mom or dad when they were your age. How were they like you? How were they different? Your parents love you very much because you are their child and you are like them in important ways. Ask your mom or dad to tell you why they think you are special. God loves you very much because you are his child and his one of a kind special creation. You are made in his own image, but you are still <clears throat> your very own person. Write a letter to God thanking him for adopting you as his son or daughter for creating you in his image and loving you so very much. That is an activity if, if you want to do. Um, if you want, you could just listen. You don't really have to do it. Also, we have six more minutes, so time's, time's about to run out. So yeah, next page. People in Bible times. Adam. God created Adam, the first human being in his own image. That means uh, that in many ways, Adam was like God. God made Adam from the dust of the ground and breathed life into him. God placed Adam in the Garden of Eden to take care of it. So if you don't know, Adam is the first ever human being on the planet. 
um, God had taken from man. He, uh, he made it into a woman. So, what do you mean? Uh, so, from Adam, God made Eve to, uh, to, pr to help Adam take care of Garden of Eden. And, um, so, let me reread this. God had taken from man. He made it into a woman. And he brought her to the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. So what they mean is like God, when um, this is how I think it goes. When Adam was sleeping, God had taken like a piece of his rib cage and turned that piece into uh, Eve, which is the woman and given it to Ad and um, uh, then God introduces Eve to Adam saying that Adam was made I mean Eve was made from Adam that's why it's called woman from man woe man I, I think you get it therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife hey guys so there's this last part that I wanted to read called the temptation and fall of man but we have no time anymore but let me summarize it real quick so adam and eve so uh, i mean if you've been listening <clears throat> god said that there's a tree of knowledge and evil which um god basically has told to adam and eve that they can eat from any fruit uh, from any tree like the fruits of any tree in the garden of eden except for the fruit of knowledge and evil so guess what they do well out of uh, out of the tree comes a surf a serpent and the serpent is satan of course and satan says if you eat from this tree you will uh, you will gain knowledge and you will be equal to god and they believed him so eve tried it then um then she gave a piece to adam and then god found uh, god already knows because he knows everything uh, adam knows that uh, even uh, so like God knows that Eve and Adam have sinned because eating, because God has told told them not to eat from the tree, but they ate from the tree, which means um, yeah, uh, which means they sinned, and then they like try to hide it from God that they've sinned, but uh, as I said, like God knows everything, so you can't hide it, <clears throat> hide it, hide stuff from Him. He's always watching over you, and He loves you so. Uh, bye guys if you want me to read the whole thing the temptation and fall of man um uh, i can but for now maybe like drop a like subscribe do whatever you want even comment if you want a part two uh if you don't you don't really have to um so bye guys okay guys so the video turns out to be shorter than i expected just because i had to redo this video like five times because of my little brother Anyways, bye guys.